This is your dashboard page that you get when you first log in. And you can see this box has been clicked already and there's some students have alerts. And you can click on the alerts and it'll tell you the description of why students get shut their domain shut off and what it means when they the they get the yellow triangle warning sign. This says your current week data, which shows that no one's used it in the current week. And there's always multiple ways to get to everywhere in iReady. Here you've got monitor personalized instructions. You click on this and you can go right to monitoring your students. Pay close attention to these filters up at the top. This doesn't have any data right now because no one's used it in the current week. So you've got zeros here. And you look down here, you've got all zeros here. Except over here on the right column, those that's year to date information. So let's choose a different time frame to see some data. Let's just look in the last week, and now we have a lot more. So there's a distribution of amount of how many students have how much time on task. Average lessons passed this week, completed this week, and this is year-to-date information on this pie chart. You go down here, and you can see your data for just that last week. Now, all of the alerts disappeared, so I'm going to go back to the current week, and then you can see where the, who has the alerts. The, the alerts will only appear if you change the time frame. The alerts will only appear in the time frame that they that they were shut off or warned. So let's take a look at Itana. You can click on this plus right here, or if you want, you can click on alerts and you can bring all of the alerts to the top. And if I click on the plus, it'll just say the same thing: the description of what it takes to get those domains shut off. You want to see this particular student data, click on the student name. And let's see, Aitana, it shows this is all activity for the date range. And we see number and operations. That one shut off. Probably diagnostic placed Aitana. Beginning of middle, seventh grade. And stop there. Didn't get very far and stop right there. In algebra and algebraic thinking, you see this dashed line here that indicates that a lot of lessons have been skipped in between these assignments in the iReady curriculum progression. That can happen by because the teacher assigned lessons or because uh, the the lesson uh, the placement was adjusted. Either one of those will cause that kind of a gap to show. And, and down here in geometry, you can see there's multiple less uh, gaps in the sequence of instruction. And if we go down here, we'll see we can click on upcoming lessons. And it's all measurement data and geometry because the other two domains have been shut off. Go back to current and past lessons. So you can click on view here and that will take you to adjusting the lesson path and you can turn the domain back on and change the uh, adjust the placement for the learning path. More on that. It's just another way to get there for, for that in a, way, in a way to deal directly with the domain shut off. But you want to see why domains get shut off or warned. Here's a domain shut off right here. Now it's most recent at the top going back unless you adjust it by clicking on these filters and you can see going back proportional relationships was failed twice in a row and the lesson before that writing equations for proportional relationships also failed twice in a row and that's what it takes to let the same lesson failed twice in a row but two different ones failed twice in a row consecutively and there that's where it's shut off now the warning is in measurement and data you can see compare populations has been has been 
not passed twice. So that's the first one. And then understand probability, not passed for the first time. If the student takes this next and doesn't pass it again, then that domain will also be shut off. So that's why that's when the triangle comes on, just now the student's in danger of getting shut off. If you click on the plus, it'll give you the same explanation. And it gives you, you can, now you can click on ex, understand probability and that's an, you can assign in preview lessons. That'll take you to the same thing. That's another subject really. But if you click on it, that's, this is what comes up. Now you can preview it and see what everything looks, see what that lesson looks like. And the explore resources is worth looking at too, because that is the tools for instruction. They have many lessons for every, that go along with every skill that's categorized and high ready from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. And there's just a raft of lesson plans for all of these skills. And they're worth looking at. We can go back to assess and teach, instruction, math, and then we can get right back here to everything on this on this page. Go back to monitoring instruction again and look at the class progress like we were just doing, and all the other choices are right here too.